A PN junction with two metallic contacts is known as PN junction diode or semiconductor diode. Semiconductor diode is formed when the trivalent impurities are introduced on the one side and pentavalent impurities are introduced on the other side of a single silicon or germanium wafer. For example, if this is the silicon wafer and we introduce we introduce trivalent impurities tri valent impurities on this side then we will have p type material and if we introduce if we introduce pentavalent pentavalent impurities on this side then we will have n type material and these are the metallic contacts these are the metallic contacts and we have a semiconductor diode in this way we can apply the external voltage across these two terminals and depending upon this we will have three cases no bias condition in which we do not apply any external voltage forward bias condition in forward bias condition p side is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and n side is connected to the negative terminal and the last case is reverse bias condition in which negative terminal of the battery is connected to the p side and positive terminal is connected to the n side we have already completed all these three conditions and uh, now we will see how diode is represented in circuit that is the symbol symbol of pn junction diode this is the symbol of pn junction diode we apply external voltage across these two terminals and uh, this side is p this side is p and this side here is n and uh, this vertical line this vertical line is depletion layer depletion layer this is the representation for depletion layer so we have three things in the symbol of semiconductor diode the first thing is the p side this one this triangle represents the p side then we have the depletion layer this vertical line represents the depletion layer and after depletion layer we have n side let's try to forward bias semiconductor diode and this time we will use this symbol so forward bias condition for word bias condition of pn junction diode i will make this symbol this represents the pn junction diode and in case of forward bias condition the p side of the diode is connected to the positive terminal and the n side of the diode is connected to the negative terminal so we will connect the p side to the positive terminal and we will connect the n side to the negative terminal so this is how forward bias circuit looks when we use this symbol and let's say applied forward potential is vd and the current through the diode current through the diode is id this is the current through the diode and id id is equal to i majority current due to majority charge carriers minus is where is is the reverse saturation current now we will do the same thing for reverse bias condition reverse bias condition of pn junction diode first we will make the symbol of pn junction diode and in case of reverse bias condition the p side of the diode is connected to the negative terminal and the n side of the diode is connected to the positive terminal so we will connect the p side to the negative terminal and n side to the positive terminal of the battery this is vd the reverse bias potential and in case of reverse bias condition the only current is reverse saturation current that is is so this is the only current in case of reverse bias condition so this is all for the symbol of semiconductor diode now we will move to diode current and diode voltage relation diode current diode current and diode voltage relation and diode voltage relation and this is very important expression this is very important expression and the diode current and voltage relation is given as is given as id id is the diode current is equal to is in bracket we have e raised to power small k vd by tk minus 1 
so this is the diode current and diode voltage relation and we will use this relation in solving numerical problems and you will have one question in your exam depending upon this formula in this ID in this ID is equal to diode current diode current I s is equal to reverse saturation current and V d V d is equal to voltage voltage across the diode T subscript K is temperature in Kelvin is temperature in Kelvin and if you have temperature in a degree Celsius then add 273 273 degree Celsius to the temperature in degree Celsius small k is the Boltzmann constant and it is given as 11600 divided by eta now eta is very important and uh, it is eta is ideality factor ideality factor and ideality factor is the function of operating conditions and physical construction and it has range between range between 1 and 2 and this range depends on various factors now we will see the ideality factor for germanium it is equal to 1 for germanium and it is equal to 2 for silicon and this is when this is when the ID the diode current is low and when diode current is high when diode current is high eta is equal to 1 for both germanium and silicon this is when this is when diode current is high so we will use these values in numerical problem and we can modify this formula we can modify this formula because we already know Vt the thermal voltage is equal to Tk temperature in Kelvin divided by 11600 and from here we can see K is equal to K is equal to 11600 by eta so we can say 11600 is equal to k multiplied by eta so we will replace this we will replace this by k eta now from this equation we want to replace k by tk so let's do this k divided by tk is equal to 1 by Vt eta very simple k divided by tk is 1 by Vt eta and now we will replace this and we will have we will have diode current ID equals to saturation current in bracket e raised to power Vd divided by eta Vt minus 1 so from now onwards from now onwards we will use this formula for the diode current because it is very easy to implement let's solve one problem based on this formula in this problem we have to find the reverse saturation current a germanium diode displays a forward voltage of 0.25 volts at 10 milliampere current at room temperature find the reverse saturation current so we have we have VD the voltage across the diode and it is equal to 0.25 volts it is equal to 0.25 volts and we have diode current ID and it is equal to 10 milliampere diode current ID and it is equal to 10 milliampere and all these values are given at room temperature so temperature is equal to 27 degrees Celsius now we will convert it to Kelvin so temperature in Kelvin is equal to 273 plus 27 
and it is equal to 300 Kelvin so this is the value of TK now we will calculate VT because it will be used to calculate the reverse saturation current and VT is equal to TK divided by 11600 TK is 300 so we have 300 divided by 11600 and this will give us 0 0.026 volts now we have everything to calculate the reverse saturation current IS we can easily calculate the reverse saturation current and the formula is ID equals to IS in bracket in bracket we have E raised to power VD divided by eta VT minus 1 this is the formula and eta is equal to 1 eta is equal to 1 because we have germanium diode and for that eta is equal to 1 we have VD it is 0 0.25 we have VT it is 0 0.026 eta is 1 ID is 10 milliampere so we can easily calculate reverse saturation current IS 10 is the value of diode current IS E raised to power VD is 0 0.25 0 0.25 divided by 1 multiplied by 0 0.026 minus 1 in the next step we will divide 0 0.25 by 0 0.026 I will use scientific calculator for this purpose 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.026 and it is equal to 9.615 it is equal to 9.615 minus 1 in the next step we will calculate e raised to power 9.615 I will use the calculator e raised to power e raised to power 9.615 and this will give us 14987 point nine two two one four nine eight seven point nine two two minus one so we have one four nine eight six point nine two two and is reverse saturation current is equal to ten divided by 14986.922 in the next step we will divide 10 by 14986.922 so 10 divided by 14986.922 and this will give us 6.67 6 point six seven point six seven multiplied by ten raised to power minus four milli ampere so this is the value of reverse saturation current or we can write it as six point six seven into ten raised to power into ten raised to power minus seven ampere or we can write it as zero point six six seven into ten raised to power minus six ampere ten raised to power minus six ampere is 0 0.667 microampere so the value of reverse saturation current is 0 0.667 microampere it is very small current and I have already told you reverse saturation current is a small current so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one